สวัสดีค่ะ I'm s o c h i n Lim g r e n g a i and welcome to Be My Guest, the program that brings you successful stories of institutions and entrepreneurs in both international and domestic arena. In today's episode, we will be talking about an exhibition called 50 Years Art at j u l a held by the Division of Art Education, Faculty of Education, j u l a l u n g k o n University. Let's find more about it with our guests today. สวัสดีค่ะ In this episode, we are joined by two professors here with us, which is Assistant Professor Dr. a p i c h a t Pon p r a s e r Head of Department of Arts, Music, and Dance Education, and also here with us is Associate Professor Dr. s a n t i k u n p r a s e r Senior Alumni and Lecturer. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Thank you for joining us today. So, first of all, we are all here to talk about the 50th anniversary of the division. So, can you first tell us a little bit about the history of the faculty and the division itself? Yeah, as as the title of the exhibition or this event suggests, we we were established in 1968, so it's 50 years yes. since, since then, and we we have. Um, develop our our curriculum activities and uh, other things within our our division okay. of of art education in order to develop our student to be good teachers as well as creative practitioner. I you see. know, in for for Thai society. I see. So so now it has been 50 years already. Yes. And It is the first uh, art education curriculum yes. in Thailand too. Ah, okay. So it's the first place here, yeah. and it has been 50 years. And of course, 50 years is a long time. And of course, there are changes during these 50 years. Can you tell us a little bit about the changes that have been made during these 50 years? Our art education curriculum is quite unique. Mm -hmm. The student have to study uh, the. Basic background of art, like okay. uh, the visual art, the applied art, and more than that, we have to study the liberal arts courses. Okay. So to be the teacher, uh, they have to learn uh, quite a bit of uh, art courses, mm. and I this see. is uh, something that uh, we uh, develop the student uh, to be. Uh, in the field of teacher, uh, and at the same time, they can be the designer and they can be the artist as well. I see. Yeah. So they are well-rounded. They can do everything. A bit of this, a bit of that as yeah. well. But during those, like the beginning in the 50 year, the first year, basically. Students, I'm sure that you know, art education is something new. Not everybody knew what art education yeah. is, and not a lot of people are interested in art like we are now yeah, in Thai like society, especially. Yeah. So, how is it different from those days till today? Yeah, it was that uh, we have to quite uh, to work hard for that. Uh, I remember that uh, we uh, have our own exhibition. Uh, of the student to show uh, the outsider and uh, invite them to come and see the exhibition. That's uh, the good part of that. I see. I see. So, where were the lecturers from at that time? Like, because you know, people were not really you know into art, and they, they yeah. did not have much education in this, especially in Thailand. Right. So, who were the teachers back then? Uh, we should give the good credit to a professor, a w i l a t t e a c h e r at i b u n He is the pioneer of uh, our division. I see. Uh, he graduated from uh, the USA. I yeah. see. I see. And so the curriculum a little bit based on uh, American style. Ah, yeah. okay. So he brought his knowledge from America to, yes. to here and to teach yes. with students. And it, yes, and his idea that uh, he uh, invite. Uh, the teacher from a uh, variety of university, yeah. like a okay. uh, graduate from American University, from Thai University. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. He, he doesn't fit uh, to be like a, a limit of the uh, 
the university that uh, the professor comes from. Ah, okay. So he's open for everyone who can, who is able to teach, basically, yes. and he brings professors from abroad even to, to teach. That's very interesting. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the exhibition itself, the yes. 50 Years Art at Jula here. Yeah. Oh. So can you tell us about the idea here? Yeah. I, I, before going to into the exhibition, I let, let me sure. add up a little bit about about the history. Of course. I mean, when when we say being un, unique. It is that we um, it's, it's quite challenging for both lecturers team and also students since the student graduated from high school yeah. you know like normal high school we really need to work hard to create that and, and and when we say we are the first art education we mean the art education in modern sense right I see okay before before then we have like art some, some kind of art education in school, um, certain school, maybe in the temple or, okay. or like, like Pok, Pok Shang or Silvercorn type of art education which stress, uh, emphasize on um, skills, you know, like, like, like craft work. I see. But um, for us, we, we aim to concept. Um, yeah, to, to create students who will become teachers, who will teach younger people. Again, you know, oh, and, and also we, we are aware about the industry, you know, we have to create uh, art teachers who will teach students to, to be able to draw, paint, design things, oh, or I even, see. you know, organize creative events and, and that. So we, we feel that what, what we have done is, is quite, quite rich in, in terms of, of the, the variation or the, the variety of of art activities, so the, the ideas of exhibition we we want to uh, um, to display to, to to show that you know throughout fifty years what what we have done in in the beginning and mm -hmm. and, and now through through the presentation of our curriculums and the ver variety of you know pro professional. Uh, lecturers who, who come to, to be full-time lecturer as well as visiting lecturers I see. and b by doing that we, we will give um, sort of information of course, basic information about about our department our, our division and then um, examples of alumni our graduates who, who are successful in yeah. in the educational institutions and as as well as in the industry, creative I industry see. throughout, you know, Thailand and also internationally known as well. I see. So the exhibition uh, only displays works from lecturers and alumni, not the present students, right? Um, we will have for the lecturer. We we will limit the work of of the lecturers. I see. But um, okay, we we will tell who who the lecturers are. What um, their profile and, and, and all that, but um, the, the main the main works in the exhibition we will concentrate on the graduates, the oh, alumni, nice. the ex students who nice. you know um, go out and, and, and work mm -hmm. throughout Thailand. I see, very yeah. interesting. Well, we take a quick break here, and when we come back, we'll talk more. Thank you. Welcome back to the program. In this segment, we are joined by Kun Sayam Attariya, alumni and also at the Art Education, Faculty of Education of Jilalongkorn University. Sawadee Sawadee Thank you for joining us in this Welcome. break. So we already talked a little bit about the history of the division here and a little bit about the exhibition. So now we'll talk more about the details. So can we start with the concept of this exhibition itself? Oh, uh, when we talk about uh our life here in Art Ed July, we realize that we are different from other departments or okay. art institutions. Like, we learn a lot about two parts. Okay. The first one is about education. How to use the, how to find the knowledge, how to learn, how to teach, and as well the psychology in different ages. Mm. And then the other part is the 
about art, both in theory and practice, and in the area of fine art, design, and the, what you call the industrial, industrial design. design. I see. Yeah. So, uh, at this point of view, mm -hmm. so we think we call ourselves art ed, okay. but now the exhibition we have like art slash ed. Okay. So why why the slash? It's like two different characteristics. I see. That normally didn't uh, doesn't come into one each person. Yes. True. But uh, but in this as institute, yes, we have like the formal people like formal. teacher formal. education <laughs> field. Proper teacher. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> formal. Teacher. Formal. Yeah. And some weird people like me. <laughs> it's like, artistic. It's like artist, uh, creative field, something like that. So different. I see. But combined in one person. In one person. I so see. it is also formal. <laughs> I'm also artistic and crazy sometimes. Yes. We <laughs> exchange which one sometimes we have both characteristic. It's a perfect balance basically yeah. between you know the, the formal part and the artistic part. Yeah. So is that the, the concept of yes. this whole yes. exhibition yes. here? Yes. I see. So what about more details about this exhibition? How mm -hmm. many you know segments do you have in, in uh -huh. this exhibition overall? Actually we uh, we set this target audience into like our people okay. like to see some history 50 year 50 years went back and then uh, some outsider okay. to come to get to know more about our department I see and then the first section is about the history the milestone of the 50 years from day one till now and okay. the future uh, and about a uh, teacher who make us today okay. right. and the second one is how we live how we study mm. it's like the education part and the art and design part and what these subjects uh, form us into something. It's like a transition from the student to the graduate. So it actually, is what 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 Kun Sayang tried to say is that it's not just about studying here for for the artistic skill or or you know formal theoretical side, but lifestyle here yes, also yes. make make us who who we are as as art educator or art education student here. Mm -hmm. right. I see. So, so what do what can visitors suppose? I went to visit this exhibition. What can I expect? Do I expect to learn the history of the division, or what can I see? Entertainment, or, or what kind of exhibition is it? I think it's it? quite about uh, education. It's like a informative okay. exhibition. It's I not see. like quite fun, but but it has sound. Okay. Uh huh. But. The, the, the third section is about the uh, alumni mm. who we have like diverse people from art, field, design, education and other. Some are business persons I see. and do a lot of things. Mm. And we notice that like when why we study here, we value about the individual in, in Thai culture sometimes we feel like we have to blend in to the crowd yes. but when we study here some people like to paint some people like to teach some people like to study in cross fields mm. and the outcome the people that to who graduate from here is quite various yeah. So you're not fixed in a box, basically. No. You, you are yeah. free to express yourself yeah. while you're studying here. And yeah. you're not fit to be a teacher only. You can be anything, no. basically, yeah. after you graduate. Yeah. So what kind of art can we expect here at the exhibition? You know, there's many sections, of course. Yeah. So 
let's say the history section, what can we expect? What type of art is shown there? Uh, the, the, the history will be in information really about okay. you know how how we develop right as okay. as a division of art education you know how we started how the curriculum looked like mm. something like that but no, the other, but but the other part will be um, about the the graduates right mm. um, the fine art part the designer part I see. and you know. Uh, educational part who, who become teachers, lecturers, and, and that, or or other kind of careers. For example, some of them are actors, singers, mm. you know, or they are famous. Yeah, famous in other section of of work, you know, out, out, outside the educational or artistic scheme, you know. So in that way, can you give us some of the highlights, like a few, just one or two for us here to just have an idea? Have you heard about? Modern dog? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, he's my friend. Uh, uh, okay. Definitely he he is there. The uh, he will be well. there. Yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah. And, and is there other highlights other than that? Uh, a lot of artists uh, like the international famous. Mom Long Kilathorn, Kira Pawan, right? Who is um, quite famous illustrator. Yeah. So these are all displayed at the exhibition. Yeah. So so we, we will represent. We will show the the alumni, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the graduates who who work in. We will highlight on on famous people, right? Who graduate some, from from us and and their work. And even though they someone are not famous, but they dedicate their life to other people to the society. I think it's value to show of course. the world. I see. So is this exhibition open to the public as well? And yep. what time is it open to? Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's our aim, really. We want yeah. to show the pub public, you know, of what 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 we are doing, what okay. we are producing, you know, producing teachers, lecturers. So so our aim is to, you know, we, we would like high school students to come so that they want to take examination to study with us. We, we want the parents, the teachers, artists, designers to, to come to see us. I see. You, you see? And, and yes, you will see, you know, um, people who graduate and become like famous in, in certain sections. I see. Um, art educator and, you, you know, all, all of these will kind of, yes, we, we send a message and we, we might find some sort of collaboration between. Yes. You were surprised yeah. because Education. someone you will not know. Oh, oh he's or she graduated from. Unexpected. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll take a quick break here and when we come back, we'll talk more. Welcome back to the program. So now we have entered our last break and we already talked about the exhibition and the history. And of course, we all know now that it has been running for 50 years, this division itself. And of course, there's going to be stories with, you know, lecturers and alumni here. So is there any, you know, stories that you would like to share with us, the viewers here? Uh, like I told you before, it's like two characteristic in us. Yes. So the exhibition, you have like the formal part and the quite naughty part, okay. let's say. <laughs> <laughs> like in the milestone, we will have some like formal information mm -hmm. about how we change the curriculum in each time, what year, or some teacher first start teach, teach in our department when, something okay. like that. And you have some fun, funny story, like one of our alumni okay. that fell from the building, <laughs> something like that. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit extreme. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you know, we will study art. We learn a lot inside the classroom yes. and outside the classroom. Yes. Yeah. I and a lot see. of activities. I see. What about yourself? You're an also alumni yeah. and also a lecturer. So is there any stories that you think, you know, it's it's worth telling here? Uh, we we did a lot of ex, ex, uh, activities mm. like uh, music uh, singing contests, okay. a lot of 
singing contest for fun for fun okay. and, and but we take seriously I see yes and, and then we got modern dog and well, yes um, and we have like paradox <laughs> we a lot of bands yeah okay. paradox Siam's Kids Service and and all Sub-Nine. very artistic bands here yeah. very unique bands you keep it boy oh I see oh. Yeah, not, it, it, it means it doesn't mean that we study art, but then we become singer. It, it's not something um, as strange as it sounds, but yes. um, it means we we apply our own creativity to to some other thing. You know, yes, there will course. be some some artistic, some creative in in other area. I see. We have to of, tell of some story, but the medium is quite different. I yeah. see. So since you mentioned many, you know, well-known names here, of course there are also, you know, ex-students or alumni of this division. So can you give us some examples of, you know, successful graduates who graduated from this division and made a big name for themselves? Yeah. Let, let's start with Pro Sangkom Thongmi. Right, Pro Sangkom Thongmi. If 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 you know him, um, he graduates from here. He, he, you know, in those days, um, how many years ago? Over 40 years ago, he was like fifth, fifth, fifth batch of, okay. of art educa- education student. He, I mean, before he came here, he went to you know exchange program in America and and Asian, you know, for, throughout Asian. So, so the person, the graduate like him, you know, you could work in, you know, in the company in Bangkok and earn a lot of money. But he, he decided to go up country to Lai province to teach like poor students so, and you know many of his students now become successful in many you know become lecturers like at the you? university like okay like one of them you. is myself well, you, you are also his student <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm his student I see. and he inspires a lot of students and art teachers over Thailand a lot so, of so, so, lot so of his students won a lot of awards from the competition so he's a born to be teacher, basically. He dedicated so yeah. much. Yeah, let let let's say probably is is the nature of of our education here at, at our division, the way we we, we teach and think that hands. Yeah. The, we we believe in, in human in children pro- potential no mm-hmm. no matter where you are, you I know. See. And he believes in the method he he learned from here. I, I think see. he can develop pe- poor people, poor children. So he tested, he experimented, and it was successful. Yes. Yeah. I see. Can you give us another example? Designer. Design. We have a lot of. Don't mention me. Don't mention me. And Mr. Yang is, is one, of, one of them. Quite okay. Some. A lot of, uh, you know, but sometimes I quite curious, like a famous graphic designer mm. in Thailand. Maybe more than half of them get it from here. I as see. Let's I put see. the name. So, so, upon, so upon with the monk studio mm-hmm. owner of the monk studio who created mm-hmm. the work for Dream Dream World. Ah, you know, okay. You know, ma- many animation I see. from Abroad. in, in America yeah. created from from the monk studio. I see. Who 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 with the ex-student of, you know, so our, our division. So not everyone becomes a teacher, but, you know, they, they are successful in other related fields as well here. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, for people who want to know more about your division can visit the exhibition and basically learn a little bit more and understand more of what you do here. So can you tell us a bit about the opening hours and how long this exhibition will run for? Yeah, the opening will be on the 23rd September. Okay and run until the 10th of October. Okay. And the opening time will be from 9 to 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I see. Yeah. And it's open for everyone? Open for everyone, of I course. Yeah. Including Saturday and Sunday? Um, all right, no, not <laughs> during the week, the weekday. Only weekdays? Yeah. 9 to 4? 9 to 4. Okay. Yeah, but, well, but if, if, if the organization or schools want to visit during um, we can maybe can can make special appointment. So yeah. can just contact you maybe through Facebook. Yeah, through Facebook or ring up our department. Okay. So yeah. what's the Facebook page? Jula Ed 
say art art at Jula. Okay. Yes, fan okay. fan page. And yes. you can they, you can contact you yeah. guys here or anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us this story. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. The Division of Art Education, Faculty of Education, Jilalongkorn University, has reached its 50th anniversary of its establishment in 2018. This exhibition aims to celebrate this occasion by exhibiting various types of artworks and innovations created by lecturers at the division, ranging from paintings, original prints, sculptures, design products, and creative works for society. The works presented are definitely unique and is well worth a visit. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. Sawadee